So Camilla from Love Island has slammed the show and talks into detail about how it made her feel after the show ended. Hey guys, it's Murad Morali. Hopefully you guys are doing well today. Back at it again with another Love Island update because so much is just going on. It's just an everlasting show. And the new season is also upon us as well with new cast members apparently being announced. And I perhaps will get into that later today if I do have time. But before we get into this video, please do subscribe. Click that button for daily and consistent content. Follow me on my Instagram, Murad underscore Morali, please as well. I'd really appreciate that. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Now, for those who don't know, Camilla Thurlow was on Love Island in 2017 and she ended up being with somebody and this particular person, it was called Jamie, and those two are still together to this day and are doing very well. But she has gone into detail which she discussed how the show really did make a negative impact on her post leaving the show and how it wasn't enjoyable at all. And notice how she ended up, you know, second runners up on the 2017 version. So it's been nearly three years and now she's speaking up finally about the effects that it had on her. And the 30 year old star and her boyfriend, Jamie, you know, were the runners up of the, se of the series. And Camilla has now admitted that she has battled a lot of mental health issues for years and has even thought about what it will be like not to be alive. Speaking on how, um, speaking on the How To Fail podcast, the beauty shared, it's difficult for the people around you, of course. If you're a people pleaser, as soon as you start disappointing the people around you because you're feeling like that, then you're trapped. It's just a constant negative spiral. You start to entertain thoughts about what not being alive would be like, even if it's just letting that cross your mind or whether it becomes a more serious thought pattern. But then there's just this constant feeling of unease, just in general, and it starts to become unbearable to be inside your own head all the time and I get completely trapped in it, trapped in a really sort of negative spiral. She continues on, continues on to say that it's hard to talk about this necessarily. It's not that the other option becomes any less terrifying, but when life becomes unbearable like that, you do start to think in a different way. It starts to change the way you look at everything to sit with myself and try and support myself when I'm feeling a bad moment, I just descend into self-loathing. It's when you can't see a way out, there's no light because you don't think that there's light at the end of the tunnel. So she goes on to talk about how the show has given her a lot of tremendous anxiety. It's made her feel very uncertain and she does not like the way the show, you know, handled with her and the negative effects and how she's also felt quite suicidal as well post being on the show. Now that in itself, a lot of islanders don't really talk about as much and you know the fact that she was on the show a while ago and only now she's speaking up about it because you, we do have like Sophie and Mike who obviously took their own lives and they were on the show as well so these type of stories are now creating quite vast headlines because it brings back those uncertain memories of past Love Islanders who took their own lives due to you know also being on the show and the negative impact it had with the trolls etc etc so I feel like these stories are very important I, I myself have I personally met Camilla as well as Jamie and both of them are very nice especially Camilla herself I feel like she is a very genuine and authentic person and you know she recently was walking for London Fashion Week as well I don't think she has done that much in terms of being in the limelight because I don't think she desperately wants to be in the limelight she was on the show and I feel like she came second and nearly won because of her own pure genuinity but at the same time I feel like these stories are also very important because I feel like it definitely impacted her in a negative way she was also very emotional on her season and would cry and get very upset over small or you know kind of issues that some people would not have i.e the whole Johnny situation when he treated her bad she got very emotional and started crying a lot and I feel like when you approach situations like that or you build this kind of negative dichotomy within yourself as you grow up you will easily find yourself you know to be in these negative spirals continuously so from a mental health perspective when you do go into therapy when you do have these kind of sessions you need to be able to combat these negative spirals if a situation hits you or happens to you where you know makes you feel upset you go down that ladder, you have to go into a negative spiral, you need to find a way to combat that and you need to find a way to find solutions and therapies for yourself and techniques to help combat that otherwise the negative spirals will get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and I feel like that in itself is something that people need to combat and battle because I feel like she struggled a lot on the show herself in reference to being more emotional I feel like she cried every other episode and when you have this kind of emotional um, grasp of you know communicative abilities you're not 
going to be able to face situations in life as well as opposed to other people. So perhaps this is probably why she found it more harder than other people. But at the same time, I feel like she is voicing her concerns and I, there's no time to do it other than the present. And I feel like, you know, it's been two, three years now since she was on the show. So this is why this is causing headlines because people now have spoken up about it, perhaps just given her the confidence to do so. Perhaps she was too shy in doing so. But again, it obviously helps anybody else who maybe want to speak up about the show or, you know, help anyone else who's feeling situation that look up to her etc etc let me know what your thoughts are on this i'm kind of in support of her slamming the show because i think at her time there wasn't that much support for her as well and that in itself needs to be taken into into consideration most definitely let me know what your thoughts are on this video are you guys in support of what she's saying or not i will also post the link of some of the articles that are talking about this so that you can read it in detail if you guys wish to because sometimes i don't do that but do subscribe to my channel click that button for daily and consistent content follow me on my instagram please murad underscore morali i'll catch you guys soon for another video